Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here today. It was only last week that we stood at this podium to condemn the DPRK's ballistic missile launch of January 5th. The regime has conducted three, three additional ballistic missile launches since then on January 11th, on January 14th, and on January 17th, local time. The DPRK has announced that it conducted the launches on four occasions in the last two weeks. The DPRK itself published photos that confirmed the launch of ballistic missiles following all four launch events. And we knew that DPRK missile launches that use ballistic missile technology violate Security Council resolutions. These facts should not be in dispute. The DPRK's unlawful behavior is a threat to international peace and security. These launches demonstrate the regime's determination to pursue weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missile programs at all costs, including at the expense of its own people. Albania, Brazil, France, Ireland, Japan, United Arab Emirates, and the United Kingdom, and the United States call on our fellow council members to be unified in condemning the DPRK for its acts in violation of UN Security Council resolutions. It is this unity, it is this unity in speech and action that has helped in the past bring the DPRK to the negotiating table and could advance stability for the region and international community. We urge that the 1718 Committee proactively support implementation of the Security Council resolutions addressing the DPRK. This includes sanctions designations for those contributing to the DPRK's unlawful weapons program like those the United States proposed last week. We also call on member states to implement Security Council resolutions to which the Security Council unanimously agreed and which calls on the DPRK to abandon its weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missile programs in a complete, verifiable, and irre irreversible manner. It is extremely important that member states take the necessary steps to implement the sanctions in their jurisdictions or risk providing a blank check for the DPRK regime to advance a weapons program. We will continue to speak out against the DPRK's destabilizing actions as affronts to regional and international peace and security. We call on the DPRK to cease these unlawful actions and return to dialogue. We stand ready to support a meaningful return to engagement and diplomacy without preconditions. And we reaffirm our commitment to achieving lasting peace and stability in the region and to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula in accordance with relevant Security Council resolutions. Thank you. We have uh, these sanctions uh, for a reason. And for any member state to oppose putting sanctions on that have been agreed to by the entire Security Council gives, in my view, the DPRK a blank check, as I, I said before. And it is important that we send a unified message as we sent uh, today. Ambassador so thank you. On Ukraine, isn't it time for the Council now to have a meeting on Ukraine? If you want to stop Putin, as President Biden said yesterday, he thinks he's going to invade. Would it not be a good idea to get the Council to meet now? You know, we're, we're engaging with members uh, of the Security Council. I'm engaging with them on a regular basis. And when the time comes, we will be ready to uh, bring this to the Council's attention. So thank you.